Hello. There's been a lot of coverage recently around the process and logistics of arranging for employees to return to the workplace, whether it be after furlough or for those who've been working from home. As part of this, employers will have a comms plan, which will typically focus on the practical elements of what employees need to return. The plans are likely to be detailed and thoughtful, but mostly there won't be as much focus on the impact that the language you use will have on your employees' willingness to come back to the workplace. The reason this matters enormously was brought home to me last weekend. A survey in the Sunday Times showed that 64% of people did not want to go back to their workplaces, the reluctant returners. This is a complex issue and an urgent challenge. Elizabeth Stokoe is a professor of social interaction at Loughborough University and is a leading authority on effective communication. I highly recommend any of her YouTube videos on conversational analysis. They're absolutely fascinating. But more importantly, for us anyway, Liz has kindly agreed to share her expertise on how HR and talent leaders can find the right language to help their reluctant returners get more comfortable about coming back to work. She'll be doing this on a webinar on the 25th of August. Now, just to be clear, this isn't an exercise in coercion. It's about helping employees to create the space to make their own decision to return to work. And again, this is important because it is better to allow people to take slightly longer to return, but be happy to do so, than to compel them to return and end up potentially making a stressful situation worse and possibly even impacting their longer term mental health. We will, of course, be covering the practical issues of reboarding on our webinar and Hugh Fordham, the CEO of Holyrood, will be sharing some great insight on reboarding best practice. He's also prepared a very helpful infographic, which you will find in the link to this post. The other striking piece of research I saw this week was a new study by Deloitte, which shows that the top concerns for employers right now are well-being and belonging. From our perspective, two of the 11 areas of the Talent Acquisition Benchmark Programme, Employment Flexibility and Onboarding, help employers get a better sense of how effective they are in these areas and what you can do to improve. The link to the programme is also in this post. It's really important we get as many people back to work as possible and the happier they are to come back, the more productive they will be. The link to the re reboarding webinar is in the post and because we expect it to be especially popular, we'll prioritise our benchmark participants. So if you are thinking about registering, now's a great time to get involved. Thanks for watching. Cheers.